Hello and welcome back to Tinged as Literature. Today you might notice there's something different. I'm actually here. Now let's begin by starting the new year with the quadratic formula. Now, if you're wondering what the quadratic formula is actually used for, it's used to break down quadratic equations in order to find their roots. Now, if you're wondering what the quadratic formula actually is, it's here, and it's minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, let's firstly take a look at how you get the values a, b, and c to put them into the quadratic formula. To begin, you must make your equation equal 0, and then after that, you can look for the coefficient of x squared to find a, the coefficient of x to find b, and the number on its own to find c. And then you're prepared to put it in the quadratic formula. Now let's go through an example of the quadratic formula. Now, if you want, you can go through this question yourself and then use my explanation as a way to check your answer. But I'd recommend using one of these calculators to carry out this question, as it can be quite a difficult subject. Now, the question I'm going to go through is x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0, where a equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals minus 10 which would be in the equation x equals minus 3 plus or minus the root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 10 all over 2 times 1 which gives us the root minus 3 plus or minus the root of 49 over 2 which is x equals minus 3 plus or minus 7 all over 2 so x equals minus 3 plus 7 over 2 which equals 2 or x equals minus 3 minus 7 over 2, which is minus 10 over 2, which goes down to minus 5. So the solution set is in fact 2 minus 5, and that's how you work out the quadratic equation. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe either next to my name in the description or at the top next to my channel name and I'll be bringing you a new video next time.